everybody, welcome back to the episode of Last Day Auto Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having an absolutely favorite, fantastic day of the most amazing Friday. Today we have been raided. We have actually quite the amazing revenge raid in store for us today. I've done a little bit of research, a little bit of scouting up on this base over here known as a moral dot LVG. And let me just say that bless up that we stockpiled on C4 a little bit. And that's also part of the reason that this video is going up a little bit on the later side. And we're also making a pit stop over at the gas station because we got some goods available for trade and very soon most likely to be butt nakedness So I don't know what the gas station solves about that But maybe we could pick up like a gas station burrito or something like that and it'll magically toss some clothes on us Who knows how gas station burritos work, man? Those things are magical You shouldn't be buying a burrito from a gas station in the first place it's a sketchy burrito location, but that base that I was letting you guys know about is loaded to the brim with loot and with the use of two C4. Luckily, we are up to three. Bless up for that. There you guys can see some of the hatchet material. We're going to be getting some marvelous things, including a huge weapon stockpile and possiblemente, if we play our cards right, even a little bit more. After that, as you guys can also see, Lexi, the true friend pup, is coming out to play today as well as we clear the path towards the gas station mechanic so then we could go ahead and uh well you guys know go ahead and do a little bit of bartering a little bit of trading and hopefully a little bit of military motorcycle upgrading although let's be honest most likely what is going to happen is we are going to be getting an absolute poop ton of repair kits because that is exactly pretty much what we've been getting most of the time i mean don't get me wrong i'm crossing my fingers for some military motorcycle blueprints so we can get our final motorcycle of all of the motorcycle chopper batches up to the maximum level since we have our police bike at max we got the off-road bike at max my personal favorite due to the fact that it is dope amongst many of the awesome sauces and see you later toxic abomination let's go and pay that visit over it's a jack uh doc jack what's her name jill i forget is it jane god dang it i knew it's started with the j man cut me a little bit of slack but we got some goods to trade on in please enjoy this wheel mrs jane and then oh baby we got a whole ton of other goods that you will definitely be enjoying in the form of all of these plates that we will then proceed to go ahead and uh, plop on open in the form of some repair kits but speaking of raids you know what i'd love to hear from y'all today how has the raiding been treating y'all in this new year of 2019 any good raids lately i guess it doesn't even need to be entirely in the the new year but how have the raids and the raiding game have been treating the alls of y'all because uh well let me just say man lately we've been having some decent ones well, like super lately they've been kind of meh but at least from what we've gotten today we have a big boy on our hands that i'm really excited to get into so that always just kind of brings up the fact that i'm really hoping that you guys are getting the absolute raids yourselves absolute best raids not just absolute raids absolute best raids of full yourselves as well and nothing but the best of loot from there so i'd love to hear maybe any raiding stories you guys might have regarding awesome stuff you've gotten or maybe in general awesome last day on earth loot that you have managed to acquire and oh my god toxic abominations dancing we got a dance party we got the new year's rave over here at the gas station it's getting lit bro it's getting lit but uh yeah whatever loot you have been getting from these raids any awesome raid stories you might have maybe even just in general how last day on earth has been in this brand new year it's so different to be playing the game with a nine at the end instead of an eight from 2018 to 2019 oh such a big jump i know I know, but I'd love to hear what is going on with you guys regarding all that type of jazz in that comment section down below, or even how you're doing. Hopefully, nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic of days upon ye and the awesomeness of things, the awesomest of things that only keep on getting awesomer from here on out. I absolutely love to hear from you guys regarding all that jazz. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way. It's the week. It's why I've done it. I do such place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. With that, we'll let you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a red a video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information because as soon as new info comes out about the game new stuff within the game events new information about forthcoming events not just are we spreading all of that but also we are breaking it down because a lot of times there's more than meets the eye and we're always connecting old 
info as well and things that we've known from the developers all that type of jazz to give us the most complete image and most preparedness possible for the future because as we all know updates man at least in my eyes it's pretty hard to go wrong with the updates the updates are always a very very fun time just like we are about to have a very very fun time over on this raid after i put on a fresh set of clothes and with the final preparations being topped off it is time for us to venture on over to the fabled place and hopefully start reaping the wonderful benefits that it will hold and then maybe some other miscellaneous adventures after the fact as well but this might be a bit of a doozy of a raid because it is definitely a big boy of a raid but like i was saying that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of that info and not just the info because as soon as those new updates do come out and even new events and anything new within the game we are always all over the case let's just make sure all of our weapons are silenced we got all the hatchets we need yes sir a moral lvg it is your time to be raided my friend but it's a great way to stay up today with all that info and of course as soon as those updates themselves do come out we are jumping on the case showing off anything and everything that they have whether it be new enemies to fight new areas to explore new loot to gather and potentially even new prizes to go after and if they're even worthwhile in the first place any of the eh any and all that type of jazz we are always out on the case for and as you guys are going to be seeing here let's just do a little bit of a run around little ring around the rosy to showcase to you guys that this is a big boy of a base and we need to penetrate it at a point and what will that point be well it should be uh if i'm not mistaken i believe penetrating somewhere on this wall should lead to some pretty nifty benefits if all goes well but that notification bell is also a great way to stay up to date with every single video i can enter it on for that weekly giveaway and on top of it all it is also an amazing way of staying up to date with all the other dope travel games going up on the channel as well that i think you may very much so enjoy because uh, well last day on earth is a picture perfect example of survival games so i'm guessing you guys are enjoying a survival game you may very well be enjoying the others but okie dokie it is time to breach so when it comes down to it the easiest way of knowing where to breach is going to be the one doorway on this wall and there's actually a couple of different ways to raid this base if there's certain things you want to prioritize i'm trying to prioritize the weapon store that this base has in store for us if we play our cards right but there's also a way in certain rooms of this base that should lead to uh if i'm not mistaken let's just go ahead and get this c4 off over here we might actually need a third c4 now that i think about it Ugh that might be a little bit nasty this might be getting a little tad bit expensive there lots but uh yeah like i was saying there's a couple of different ways you can actually go about raiding this base that will lead to different types of loot and the loot that we're going after like i said is the best guns that this base has to offer because if you do it right you can get some very elite guns from it but we're also it's also a revenge raid so hopefully we'll be getting some stuff back as well but uh, then there's also like ways you could raid the base where you try to get a lot of materials back for example a lot of like steel plates copper bars aluminum stuff that type of jazz and a lot of vita sign to you within the next wall and there is actually a third c4 we're gonna need to get into the goods into the juicy meats that this base has to offer making it like i said not the cheapest raid in the world but it is a good one and if we play our cards right we should be able to do the big one i'm not gonna say glitch because it's not really a glitch just kind of taking i guess taking advantage of the way that the game game works which is whenever you exit a map you will usually respawn by where your chopper is but whenever you go and re-enter a map uh or whenever you exit the map all of the enemies will be where they were so you can just kind of take advantage of that and since we spawn at the south of the base at least in this example uh what should we call if we lead the enemy specifically the big one up to the north we should be able to play a couple of games with them here or there and it's not like tic-tac-toe or nothing like that unfortunately but uh, we can play a little bit of ring around the rosy some merry-go-round and we will be very merry when we come around and get the loot that there is but here is the final doorway we want to break into and this will open up all the rooms that will have the best of the best but also bring our noise up to a lofty 47 i know i know it is a lot of noise being created no need to tell me twice as you already might be able to tell as well there is a steel base a steel section to this base as well that you just kind of want to go ahead and watch out for because well you can't break into it unfortunately just there it's tempting us teasing us but we can break into this pink chest over here and you want to remember the fact that it's pink because 
because that's the easiest way of knowing you are gonna get the goods that it has because bada bing bada boom look at that beauty one brand spanking new scar one of the best rewards at least in my opinion that you can get from a raid in addition to a vss and well all them other pistols on top of that mm -mm -mm, juice delicious and i think this one might be is that our glock no no, our Glock would be fully modded, so this actually like, comes with like a couple of mods already, which is kind of nifty. That one with like some green lasers and stuff. But then we do want to break through a couple more of these chests. This one, I believe, should have some other goods within. Like, if I'm not mistaken, we should have a minigun coming our way. Hello, hello, precious. I like what you got to offer. And then there should be, if I'm not mistaken, one more chest where we should be able to get some shotguns or something along those lines. And then I think there's even like some SWAT armor and stuff where you could take. So like I'm saying, this is an A1 type of raid. Now there's a different way of raiding this base, if I'm not mistaken, because I think if you break open this room, you could get into that room we're in with two C4, but there are some chests in the other room we broke along the way that I would like to break into as well. So that kind of like, plays a part into it but for now just go ahead and toss them bad boys all up into here and we have a chopper filled with already guns that were taken home so that 100 percent is ours why because well the big one can't kill our chopper and make all that loot disappear so if we die right now we've pretty much still gotten a lot of super valuable stuff so we are definitely ahead was it expensive yeah, definitely a little bit more on the expensive side, don't get me wrong, but was it good? Oh yeah, baby, I am happy with the way that this turned out, and hopefully we will be even happier with some shotgun rail as well. Hello, hello to you too, gorgeous. Now, I believe that there should be some pretty good chests over here in the form of these yellers. I think one of these should be pretty decent with some SWAT armor. This one, actually, not so much SWAT armor, but... I hear you, boys. Hello, hello, toxic abominations. How are you doing? Plenty of pistol drizzle to go there. Oh, no worries. I'll shoot it right up your face. No need to stress. I'll make them deaths quick and painless. Well, I don't know if they're painless because I've never personally died before. That's uh, not on the bucket list of things to do do so uh yeah sorry death sorry to leave you off like that but you are not on the papa star bucket list but check this out there's a mad stockpile of yellow tickets as well so if you guys don't already have a huge yellow ticket stockpile like i do which is why i might leave some of those yellow tickets behind uh that's another thing that you can definitely excel within and get some marvelous things in let's go in and see what we got out of this yellow chest hopefully we got something semi-decent semi-good hey we got our aluminium back and we should have one more chest to break into before the hecticness begins. And I do believe that this chest over here is unfortunately entirely empty, at least from my knowledge of it. So that's kind of a little bit of a waste if you were to break into that. Instead, its neighboring chest right over here is not so empty. Actually, this should be the chest with those goods that I was talking about. And what do you know? Look at that. Look at that. We also got some medical supplies we could pick up should we choose. A brand spanking new set of the SWAT armor that we'll go ahead and pick up maybe another set we'll bring home as a souvenir i've been starting to run a wee bit low on that part some first aid kits you could steal as well so as you guys are seeing there's just a lot of stuff to be had out of this raid this is a good raid this over here is going to be a good chest for us to break into as well but first things first i'd like to run over the chopper drop off the best goods that we have so far because we've definitely picked up some better stuff than some of those pistols we put away mainly some of that shot to go to raid we've picked up and you know we're going to be putting away and speaking of shock and raid if you guys have it already make sure to check that link over near the top of the description we could go ahead and also in the pinned comment and cop yourself some of that marvelous shotgun rain and star snipe merch not to mention that we also got shotgun rain coffee themed mugs and shotgun rain coffee shotgun rain coffee available as well with the discount code all caps star snipe to even get yourselves a little bit of money off of that as well so just some stuff i want to make sure you guys are aware of it's a great way of supporting the channel by copping those things and hopefully getting yourself some super high quality stuff because that merch man oh dude mine is almost here and when it comes you know we're gonna be rocking the bejesus out of it and having an awesome time with that but all right here comes the part where we must start breaking into things so one a two a three chops we are going to be softening up all of these chests making them soft like swiffer no swiffer is the thing that picks up dust uh charmin like freaking charmin dude charmin ultra soft what up 
I'm getting extra soft up in here. Let's go and get a couple of chops up in here. If you guys do not yet know, the way that chops work is that it takes four chops to completely break a chest with a level one hatchet, whereas it takes three chops to do it with a level two. So with that in mind, you can completely soften up a chest and make it prepared to be broken into entirely because one, two, one more chop on that and it will be saying hello to you too. And also doing this now also lets us take advantage of this noise. Just be a little bit more on the productive side. Have I softened this one up already? I'm not sure if I did. This one over here is going to have some pretty decent stuff. I'm definitely going to want to break into that. I don't know if that has anything too good. I suppose we could break into that, but we've also freed up a little bit of inventory room, as you guys should be seeing here. Uh, let's go ahead. Might as well pick up. Uh, I said I'll pick up another set of armor, so let's do that. It'll come in handy a little bit later as well. Sorry, carrots, as much as I love the vitamin, whatever vitamin carrots give you, unfortunately, A, it's not vitamin P, so pfft, thumbs down for me. <laughs> now, all vitamins are important, guys. Be getting them vitamins and whatnot that you need. But so we're going to be picking up some of the other jazz up in here. Oh, I'll leave behind another hatchet, I think. Eh, eh, eh. I, I think we're good. I might end up leaving behind some of these yellow tickets as well. We'll see how that plays out. But uh, I'm ready to drop some stuff if need be, because over here should begin the smorgasbords of goods for us. Hello to you. Oh, baby, I already like what I'm seeing over there. Let's go and soften this bad boy up. And we got, oh, mama hatches for days. Okie dokie, we are good on that front. Let's soften this thing up before the big one decides to appear, because so far, actually, this dude just appeared. And whoop, let's go ahead and get that. Let's draw these dudes in a little bit deeper, because I don't want to accidentally get cornered. Oh, speaking of that, I think I accidentally just got cornered. Oh, no. Oh, no. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Oh, we went into a really bad corner for what we were trying to do. But check it out. Here is when the games begin, as I like to say. Because we could draw this dude on over here. And we will boop our way on out of the map. And this is when the raiding games begin. Because that's the advantage of big bases like this. It seems bad. But if you do your research and you know which rooms to break into, it is not so bad. It's actually rather nice. And why, wow, Papa Star, why is that the case? Well, 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 you about to be fighting out there, Sonny Jim Bob Burrito. Because check it out. We're going to be spawning in. We're going to be far away from the big one. And he has to run across at least half of an entire base if he wants to catch up to us. So, oh no. He's not in a good position, that lads. And... Well, we're going to be taking advantage of it, trying to take out his Toxic Abomination brethren here, so we only need to worry about one zombified dude at a time. He should be running around trying to get to us, and I'm going to be over here trying to break some of these chests. I want to minimize the amount of hits he gets off on us as well. I'm not going to hit the sprint button yet, but pretty much what we want to do is just kind of know the location of our chopper and use that to our advantage, because then if we try to bring him a little bit closer than halfway... And we're going to be running to the right. We want him to run to the left. So we want him to be a little bit closer on the left. So he personally tries to go to us around the left side of the base. So then we start running around the right side of the base. And as a direct byproduct, we have a huge amount of time to break down chests and see what they have. And that is the magic of Raiden. And, uh, well, I don't, need, I don't know if you need the chopper to spawn constantly at the same spot. Or if you just need to do something. But whatever it is, here's what we're going to try to do this run around. I'm just going to try to break down all these chests. We will go ahead and see exactly what they have next time. So this time, we will just uh, we'll go ahead and break them down. He has appeared. Hello, big one. How do you do there? He's doing some decent damage, but not decent enough. We got him stuck in that corner to buy ourselves a little bit of time. And like I'm saying, we'll bring him a little bit closer than halfway in terms of where our motorcycle is. And after, I think, pretty much after this run around, we should be able to at least pop into each of those chests and show off what they have. Now, I did say there's a different way of raiding this base if you want to get steel and copper. That involves a more lefter part of the base. I don't know exactly how to do it because I did research mainly on how to break into the base this way to get all these guns because, as y'all know, I love guns. Guns are very good in last day on Earth. Uh, so we'll just go, we'll check out these three chests over here and just kind of keep it nice and compartmentalized so we remember what is what. The hello, there is nothing in there. Hello, there is a hatchet in there. Hello, there's nothing in there. What about Mr. Black chest? Hello, nothing. Mr. Death chest? Hello, nothing. Hello, nothing. Hello, nothing. A whole ton of nothing brought to you by whatever this dude's name is. I already forgot. Immoral? LVG? Something like that. Yeah, thanks, Immoral, for all the stuff you didn't give us, but we will bring him a little bit closer than halfway and we'll just go over... 
I'll probably pick up some medkits, maybe another set of SWAT armor, and then we will call this a completed raid and honestly looking for more inventory. It's going to be completed with some pretty good stuff. We'll actually go ahead and toss those over there as well. And uh, hmm. we will probably end up ditching those two iron hatchets. But what else do we ditch? That's the question here. Did we ditch? Ah, I don't want to ditch the red tickets, man. I love those things. Maybe, maybe I'll just grab three pieces of SWAT armor and call it there. Uh, I think that's a decent strategy. Let's move forward with that. Let's make that the go-to strat. Or maybe we could leave these iron hatchets with us, pay a visit over to the oak forest, and maybe start collecting a little bit of oak and add it to the, the total loot smorgasbord that we got. We will also begin sprinting this way, so then we could hopefully have even more ground. The benefits and bonuses of using such a wonderful skill such as that. Because we are going deep into the base this time around, so we definitely need a moment. And allo, 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 allo. Hello, hello, hello. Hamada, do 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 do. Hello, 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 Mr. Big One. I am getting the hell out of here. Thank you for the great raid. I love all the loot that I got. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, dude. We got we got our Holly and Jolly with these Christmas tunes. It's already 2019. How could I do this to you? We got like 12 months to go. I'm sorry, man. The spirits of Christmas, they just got into me. And, well, we got into that amazing raid. Thank you more than kindly, Mr. Immoral LVG, for the wonderful things you had to offer it to me, man. Let's go and see what we got over within this airdrop. We had a pretty productive day. We unlocked and progressed our military motorcycle a little bit more. We got our skulls back up to four. Another day on the raid timer and hopefully another revenge raid awaiting us tomorrow. And, uh, well, hopefully let's cross our fingers that we can end things off on the highest note imaginable. And I don't know, maybe get something real nice, real party from this airdrop right over here. So let's just go and plop this bad boy open. Crossing my fingers, maybe an engine part, something along those lines. I wouldn't mind. No whammy, no whammy. That's a ton of whammy right there. No, oh, oh, Nelly. Well, I got a little bit of gas. I think I can actually put that into the motorcycle. So might as well capitalize on that because it is just one gas. But uh, as we are bringing a close to this airdrop, that is also going to be bringing a close to this episode of Last Day on Our Survival. I hope that you guys enjoyed the amazing raid we had in store with some very high quality and quite a good amount of high quality weapons with of course the crown of the weaponry being the vss and the scar and all this armor all these tickets dude we're loaded on yellow tickets and that's why i love these types of raids these types of bases they're perfect because long story short you're going to be getting a lot of bunker tickets and a lot of bunker crates for a very long time i still wish i could get a huge red ticket stockpile though man that's the dream never found a red ticket stockpile because it's kind of hard to stockpile red tickets compared to the other tickets but uh, that's going to start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Can't wait to what y'all got to say in that comment section down below regarding the raids. Maybe how your 2019 is off to a start or how your day is going. How your last day on Earth journey has been so far in the new year. Any and all that type of jazz. Best of luck in that $25 iTunes slash Play Store a gift card giveaway as well. Again, just make sure you enter behind that like button. Leave it a comment down below and being subscribed. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get in the chopper gas tank and join in the chopper squadron. Best of luck bringing your pups. Getting the true friend perk. Loving up your own perks and skills. Not to mention finding the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up your base. Going out on the dopest of raids. Defeating all the bosses of the game has to throw at you. That was not a boss by the way that's just a crazy naked dude well half naked he's got some pantalones on i gotta cut him a little bit of slack there but uh best luck to you guys defeating all the bosses the game has to throw at you especially the new ones of 1.11.3 and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely favorite fantastic time all throughout and getting past that multiplayer wall as well but it's gonna go ahead and do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to the next one see ya